I'll tell you my take on AI. I feel like we're in a golden age of AI right now, which yeah. is to say, if you ask, let's say, ChatGPT some question, like, you know, um, is Donald Trump a good president? Yeah. What you'll get is a pretty nuanced argument. Like, some people think yes, some people think no. Here's some arguments for and against, that sort of thing. Yeah. A lot of people are annoyed by this. The fact is that's great yeah. because what we're going to face in the future, I'm predicting, yeah. is a balkanization of AI where the liberals say, we don't want any of this literature in there. We're just going to train on our literature. And the conservatives are going to say, we're going to get rid of all that uh, stuff. We're going to just train on our literature. And you're going to start getting yeah. AIs that just present a particular point of view. And and I think that's inevitable. That's right around the corner. Yeah. And and that's going to be a real loss yeah. in terms of this epistemic stretching that we're talking about. You just won't even get to hear the other point of view. Well, th then you like actually a project that FIRE is doing, uh, my organization um, is doing with the Cosmos Institute, where we actually put, uh, put a quarter million dollars of our own money um, into a, a million dollar pool to give spot grants for uh, people to develop um, basically epistemically humble AI, things that actually promote freedom of speech, that promote critical thinking, because we're worried about precisely this, th this thing too.